some I, I feel like I need some intro music like Eye of the Tiger or something. Can you play? Oh, that, that would have been awesome. I should have done that. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, my name is Samantha Williams. I am a realtor and the customer care specialist with Community and Council Realty. Today we have with us the Marco Rossi. This is kind of a big deal. I'm not going to lie. He has a few names. Marco Multiple Offers Rossi is my favorite. Marco, thank you for being here. Oh, you're welcome, Samantha. Anything I can do to help the children, right? <laughs> Of course, of course. So, I mean, I know you, you're my bestie, but not everybody knows you. So tell us a little bit about you, how you got in the industry and all that good stuff. Well, um, I've lived in Atlanta for about on and off for 15 years or so. And um, I've, I've always been in sales my whole life, my whole, my whole professional career, whether it was like starting off in radio sales and then moving towards like software sales and then leasing apartments and then into residential or real estate. So, um, you know, that's kind of the, the groove that I've always been in uh, since I started working. And um, I kind of split my time in real estate between about eight years, eight and a half years of residential uh, leasing and also residential now sales. So that's where I'm currently at. And uh, what other questions do you have for me, Samantha? So, okay, I think that it's also important to note here, you are an agent, one of the best agents on our team. You've been doing it a long time and you're highly successful, but you also have pretty recently taken a new role within the team. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, I am uh, currently director of sales for Community and Council, which um, is basically uh, running our, our sales department and making sure um, that you know, all of our team members are, are serviced and hit their numbers and giving all that good advice um, that a sales director, you know, is supposed to do. Uh, working, you know, side by side with our CEO and, and, and founder, Ryan Graham, who's an amazing, amazing person, an amazing agent, an amazing leader. So uh, I'm really learning a lot from, from him as well as, uh, you know, my past sales management experience at other companies. So it's been a really fun ride so far and I, I love everybody on our team. It's just been fantastic. Awesome. Well, I will make sure that Ryan sees that last part so <laughs> you can get an extra pat on the back in the meeting, but it's all true. Ryan is great and you're great within the role. And I think that it was super exciting when I found out you were going to be taking over that position because you have been number one on our team for a couple years. You've been really um, a great source of information, knowledge, and motivation for agents. So knowing that you're going to be an active participant and helping everybody meet their goals, I, you're perfect for it. Oh, well, thank you. That's very nice of you. I try to do my best. You are uh, awesome. Yeah. Well, so I mean, I guess you're the best person to ask. The market's a little crazy right now. It's something that nobody has ever seen. What is your opinion on the current market and how do you feel about it? Well, um, you know, the current market is, if, if anybody's out there trying to buy or sell right now, they probably, they probably have the answers already. But, you know, for an agent out there that's doing this day in and day out, the market definitely has changed over the last 12 months, I mean, dramatically over the last 12 months. So we're talking, you know, since 2012, I think we've, if you bought a house back then, you're doing quite well if you still own that house today. I mean, the market values nationally, just not here in, in Metro Atlanta, but they've been going up, um, you know, quite a bit. And uh, over the last full year here in Atlanta, uh, our, our median sales values have, have upped 35%. I mean, that's crazy to think of. So What's happening right now is that there's a huge demand, a very, very low inventory of supply, and interest rates are still historically low. You've got COVID ending or the pandemic, you know, people getting out there again, they have liquidity, they want to spend their money. You have investors competing with single family homeowners. It is and on the buying side, it is actually kind of hard. I won't be, I won't lie. You know, um, we definitely are are experiencing multiple offers with a lot of our buyers, my buyers right now. So it's really about how to strategize those offers on the buy side in order to, you know, win the deal. And um, I feel like I've gotten good experience um, with, you know, with that over the past, you know, five years here. And 
um, on the selling side, if you're listing your property, it is, it is a dream come true almost. I mean, you really don't have to worry too much. You're probably going to sell that house within a week or less if it's staged properly, um, if it's priced correctly, uh, you know, if the condition is good. Um, our average days on market here in Metro Atlanta are six days right now. So um, it is a crazy, crazy market, but a little bipolar. If you're on the buy side, a little tough, but you got to have an agent that understands the market and knows how to strategize with offers and terms. And on the listing side, you just, you, you can't let go on that. You still gotta, you still gotta list your property and make, and make it shine just like you would, you know, five, six years ago. So it has like the best opportunity to sell. Yeah, of course. So recently, just in the past, I think week, you've had some success with buyer clients. You've gotten um, two or three things under contract in the last seven days or so. So clearly you're having some success. What do you think kind of sets you apart and lets you win in those situations? Um, well, you know, I, I think a lot of it comes to when, when a listing hits the market, you know, in single family world, the condo world is a little bit different. It's still, it's still pretty competitive in that world, but single family is just a whole lot more competitive. And, you know, when it comes to a single family house that just hits the market, that looks great online, you know, it's, it's all swiping right on that property. So you, you want to, you want to get out there. Speed to lead is, is, is essential. You want to call that, you know, that agent, you know, this is what I do. I call the agent. I say, we have, you know, really serious buyers that are fully approved. Um, we can talk about the financing side of things. If your, your buyer is financed or, 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 or cash or whatever, but essentially having really good communication with the listing agent and basically, you know, letting them trust your, you know, developing trust within your buyer clients that, you know, you're fully approved. There's nothing to do. Um, you know, you know, explaining your terms of the contract and, and just, you know, taking the necessary steps to, to, you know, provide all the communication necessary. Don't leave any gaps and, and always be professional and timely with everything. So. Yeah, I think that's great information. And I mean, it obviously sounds like it's working for you and other agents on the team as well. So then on the flip side, you mentioned for listings, it's, um, you know, fairly easy to sell your house right now. You're in a good spot, but also that marketing and the staging and all of that is very important. Um, I know you have a lot of experience with listings on our team. What do you think you and therefore our team offer that sets us apart for listings? Um, on the listing side of things, for the most part, uh, what I've dealt with are our, our sellers are very keen to the market in, in terms of how to list their property. People have been on HGTV and watching those shows. And I mean, everybody's, you know, perusing Zillow and Realtor.com for the last 10 years. They, they kind of understand what it takes to sell a home, you know, visually with great staging. Um, but I will say, you know, if, if you're a seller and you have to move all your stuff out and, and you know, you need that, you need that extra oomph, you know, into that listing to make it shine. You know, we provide uh, services like staging services um, to help, you know, get all the furniture in there, make the photography fantastic. Our marketing strategies are, are top notch. And, you know, it's, it's a science, you know, it's, it's really not just, hey, I want to sell my house, put a sign in the yard and, and do all of that. It's really methodical. You know, we have, um, a campaign, so to speak, to list properties from a coming soon all the way, you know, to the close. So, and that's, that's a, a multi-step process that, you know, I really love, you know, explaining to, to potential sellers out there so they can really truly understand what all goes into listing a property. Um, there's a lot, there's just a lot of details and a lot of, a lot of glue to that puzzle to keep it together. Absolutely. I, that's my favorite part too, is kind of diving deep into the marketing campaign and how intentional we are and everything and all of the services we provide cost on us and all. That's my favorite thing to talk about. So I like hearing that it's yours too. <laughs> so um, you were successful before you joined Community and Council, which is a team. We have about 13 agents and um, three or four admin. So what about the team atmosphere drew you in to joining? Because that's obviously a big change. These are good questions, Samantha. I'm, I'm impressed. Thank you. you. Now you really know. <laughs> These are kind of hard. Okay, so 
Because the question was, I was successful prior and what drew me into CNC? Is that it? Right. Like, what about the team specifically? This team caught your eye. Um, okay. So it all started. Yes, I was an individual agent for a few years before I joined uh, Community Council. It all started out of, out of randomness. You know, Ryan Graham, our, our CEO and founder, I was on the buy side of his mother's house um, in the house that he grew up at, grew up in, in Peachtree City here, about 30 minutes south of Atlanta. And it just so happened that Ryan and I worked very, very well together on that transaction. And, you know, I was, I, I you know, I, I always look every agent up online just to see what they're doing. And I, I was very impressed with Ryan. So I, I made it a point to ask him a couple of questions at the closing table when we were closing on his mom's house. Um, and, you know, he reached out back to me a couple months after that. And, and he was like, I, I was very impressed with, with the way you handled the transaction and worked and everything like that. And I'd love to bring you in um, as an agent on our team because I'm starting this new thing. Well, you know, I kind of put that on the back burner for a little while. And then after, you know, a couple of different lunches and, and phone calls and emails, um, you know, I really, I really, uh, I found a, a, a purpose of joining a team and Ryan's vision and the team's sort of mission statement, if you will, is just all about servicing clients as well as your community. And for me, it was, it was kind of like, um, you know, when you get into real estate, it's almost like a, you know, you, you, you're like proud of yourself. You're like, okay, I did it. I got my license. I'm in it. It's like, you go to college, you know, you did that thing in high school, you get into college and then you're just sitting there and you just kind of like, there's no, you maybe want to find a purpose or a group to belong to you. So you hit a fraternity or sorority up or something like that. For me, it was more like, I need to find purpose in real estate. And I think community and council really provides that for me now. I mean, just the community efforts, the team atmosphere, the, you know, now the position of director of sales and helping everybody on the team succeed, that has been more fulfilling to me than just being an individual agent um, doing my own thing. So I had to get to this step today or this stage today to understand that. But, you know, a few years ago, it just, it, it didn't make sense to me then, but it totally makes sense to me now. And it's just, it's been very fulfilling. Yeah. And I mean, also when you're an independent agent, it's totally on you. You have to remember all the follow-ups, whether you're on vacation with family, whatever evening, weekend, you're always on, but on a team, you have a really good backup. You have our director of operations, Scott, you have our director of branding, Michelle, you have our team leader, Ryan, you have me. So, you. <laughs> so it's like, you have a great support system. Yeah. I, I was just saying that just for everybody out there to know that you keep me in line most of the time, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes. I am the, um, I don't know. What do you say? It's I'm the wife you would never, ever want. <laughs> <laughs> so if that tells y'all how on it we are around here. <laughs> so I think that's awesome. And I really think it's great how um, impactful the community atmosphere and the relationship based um, like efforts that we put out, how much they've impacted you. That, that makes me happy. I know that would make Brian really happy. Um, so here's kind of a tricky question. Okay. What is your favorite part about being a realtor? And then what is the hardest part? Well, I'm not going to say the cliche thing. Like my favorite part is closing and getting a check and all that kind of stuff. I mean, a lot of agents think that, but, um, I, and uh, this is probably coincides with a lot of agents you know, mentality about what their favorite part is. And I think it's just the, the customer service side of things. You know, um, I oftentimes work with brand new buyers. They just, they don't have a clue what's going on. It's their first home ever. It's a massive investment for them. And they just, they go into freak out modes a lot, you know, and like a lot of that is just managing expectations from the, from the very beginning. And I feel like I'm, I'm good there. And, you know, nobody likes surprises in, in real estate transactions, but they happen and nobody likes, you know, to get emotional, but it happens. And so, you know, being a real estate agent, isn't just, you know, getting a house and putting it under contract. There's a lot that goes into it, but the service side is what I love the best. It's knowledge based for me. It's, providing that knowledge and insight to anybody, whether they're on the buy side or the listing side. Um, at the end of the day, everybody gets something out of it. And I just want to make sure that 
you know, it's an easy and smooth process, you know, it, you know, when I'm working with people. And so they can tell somebody else, hey, it was just so easy. I know there were a lot of kind of, you know, puzzle pieces to put together here. Um, but, you know, my my whole thing is just to make sure that everybody is is always informed and and the process goes as, as smooth as possible. Okay, so that sounds a little double edged. Is that like the best part, but also kind of the hardest part, putting out the fires, comforting people? Yeah, I mean, you know, there's there's raw emotion when it comes to real estate transactions. And sometimes, you know, you find yourself being sort of a like a psychologist or psychiatrist in the mix. But, um, I, you know, the difficult part is if you hadn't explained something to somebody from the from the very beginning, and set those expectations and you have to explain something to them later down the road that you, you know, is, is a shock to them. It, that's sort of the hardest part, but it, you, you want to mitigate, you know, that it, as best as you can. So, um, I don't know, Samantha, I just, I don't, I don't know if, I don't know if anything's hard for me anymore. Right. <laughs> I mean, just, you know, when you're the Marco Rossi, there's not too many things that challenge you. <laughs> no, there's, there's plenty that challenges me. I'll tell you, I just, but it's, um, it actually, you don't realize the hard things until it's all over with. And then you realize it's almost like you avoid a car accident and you don't even realize what the hell is happening at that moment. But like a day later, you're like, oh my God, that's, that's kind of how it is. So just got to be even, even keeled and calm and cool collected throughout the whole thing. And, and hopefully your emotions don't affect the transaction and your buyer or sellers. Yeah, I love that. I love how much you really care about your clients um, and how much support you truly offer. That's comforting. As somebody who worked with you, although it was for a rental, but you are very like voice of reason and logical, super helpful. Well, thank you. So, um, okay. I know you mentioned a few questions ago how we're so community-based and you've actually had several philanthropic um, causes and organizations that you have kind of used in your brand and you've used our platform to spread. How do you think that having the ability to incorporate those causes and organizations into your brand has helped you? And how, like, you know, how, how do you feel about it? Well, I mean, you know, community and council, those two words separately, the community side of things is, you know, um, is almost like a, a separation of real estate for me. Community is all about community give back and uh, being a part of your community, whether it's, you know, uh, Atlanta or, or some other, you know, philanthropic organization across the country, as long as you're giving back, I think that that community side of things really resonates uh, with me. And I, I try to, you know, for example, I, I have like neighborhood events here. Um, I live in Cherokee County in Woodstock. And, um, and you know, when, when we do events, we attach a charity uh, to that so that the charity can benefit. So all the neighbors will bring some, some food. And I, 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 um, I partner with a, a food pantry here in Cherokee County called Never Alone Food Pantry. And they're fantastic. You know, they, they, they give meals out every single day to people that are in need for Cherokee County residents. And it's, um, it's just a great thing. And, uh, you know, feeling to have when you when you pull up to their door after, you know, you had an event to promote yourself, essentially, and market the company, but at the end of the day, you're doing a good deed, and it just feels good to give back. And so I've been partnering with them uh, for the last, you know, five or six months and it's just been great. Yeah, that's awesome. And for anybody that is curious about um, the cause, we have agent profiles on our website and that cause along with some others that you've worked with over the course of your time at Community and Counselor all on your agent page, there's info provided and um, your like why kind of goes into more detail. So that's a great resource for anybody as well. If they are curious to know more. What's my, what's my agent page? Is it communitycouncil.com slash Marco? I'm not going to put you on the spot. I don't you even are, know. but you are. I think I know it. Feel at home dot community and council dot com slash Marco Rossi. Don't hold me to that, but I think that's it. You can always go to www dot community and council dot com agent Marco Rossi. He's yeah, and just we could put it in the in like the the description or whatever of the video, right? 
Yeah. Yes. Which is also kind of a good segue into like, if somebody is just, they see this and they're so inspired and they want to work with the Marco Rossi, like how do we get in touch with you? Uh, well, you can email me at Marco, uh, M-A-R-C-O at communioncouncil.com, all one word, uh, or call me 678-469-6138 or Instagram me at Rossi Residential or Facebook me. <laughs> or send me a letter or, you know, knock on my door, whatever works best for you. <laughs> I will put everything, including how to send them a smoke signal in the comments after this. So it'll be super easy to remember. And before I let you go, cause I'm sure you're so busy and just have so much to do. I do have to know so busy. <laughs> what does home ownership mean to you? It's something we're providing to people. What is that to you? Um, home ownership, home ownership. So uh, the best, I guess the best way I can describe what it means to me is uh, freedom comes to mind. You know, it's, it's, it's wealth building. If you can do it at, you know, starting at a young age, I think even better. Um, you know, I've owned a couple of homes here and um, fortunately because the market has been so great over the past eight years, I was able to move from one home and transition to the next home and build all that equity. I mean, that's what it's all about is to, is, is to have um, some equity in that property down the, down the road. I mean, I, I don't think you can go wrong when you, when you invest in real estate for the long haul, the long term. Um, but it, it's a great sense of freedom to own a house because you're not paying a landlord, you know, your rent, you're, you're actually, you own that place outright and you're basically paying yourself I mean, you're paying the lender and all that stuff and the mortgage, but you're paying yourself, you know, to if you think about it that way, you know, every single month and you can, you can pay even more to, to, to get that loan term down a little bit if you want to and, and pay an extra, um, you know, uh, mortgage payment a year, but it, it really comes down to home ownership is, is just, it's the American dream. It's, it's, you know, it's wealth building and you know, I really, and I, I want to focus more on that myself. I, you know, I, I bought an investment property last year and I want to keep buying them and, you know, and, and continuing to, um, to set my future up, so to speak. So it's, it's great to own a home. If you haven't, if you haven't, if you don't own a home, you know, let me know and I can help you out, you know, call me, we can, we can discuss uh, what it takes in this market, um, on, on what to do and what you need to have, um, uh, set up for, for yourself, you know, financing wise and, and, and the market. So it's just a, it's really a, just a 20 minute conversation to find out if you're truly ready to buy a house, but it, home ownership is fantastic. Yeah. And even if you're not ready to buy a home, you, or, you know, me, anybody on the team is a great resource for what do I need to do to get there as far as savings goals, credit, you know, neighborhoods, all of that, you can help throughout the process. So, I mean, that's pretty awesome because everybody wants some freedom and some generational wealth and, yes. you know. Absolutely, absolutely. Now is the time. Mm -hmm. Now is a good time. Now is a really good time. Yeah, you're right. Low, low interest rates, it's always a good time to take a big step. Yes, it's not, it's not that people might think that, you know, I have to go so, so high above list price to get the house. And, you know, it's really, it comes down to your contract in its totality and, 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 and what it, what it entails, like the whole, the whole thing. Um, so if all the stars are in line, you know, you could, you could beat out somebody that, you know, is 10 grand higher than you are based on your terms of the contract. 100%. I'm glad you said that because I do all of the photos for our Instagrams or whatever. And I go and I pull any under contract from Zillow, Riff and whatever. I just pull the first picture online of it. But I always see that typically, and of course there's a few exceptions, the prices that we go under contract for almost exactly line up with the asking price, which is clear that there was some term in the contract, maybe temporary occupancy after closing, maybe closing costs, something that wasn't necessarily monetary that won the contract for the client. And that's a big deal because the biggest fear that I hear right now is, well, I don't have 30,000 extra dollars, but that's not something I'm seeing commonly. 
I mean, it happens, but not, not all the time. And it's all about the agent. It happens. And it's not like, you know, every single buyer has the ability to do that. So you have to have that conversation up front, set the expectations, you know, and, and know what's within your means. And at the end of the day, as long as, you know, you as a buyer, or, um, I mean, we're talking on the buy side, obviously, but as long as you know your limits, then there's nothing you can worry about, you know? So. So, yeah. <laughs> 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 awesome well thank you for taking the time to chat with me marco like i said i'll put all of your information in the comments and i hope you have a great day we'll see you soon thanks samantha it's good to be here <laughs> bye bye